Hey everybody, Ann here, and I am in much better spirits today. I'm really, really tired, but um, you know what? The van's running again. It's not heating up. Turns out, Donnie, Donnie, God, I wish I had gotten some contact information for you guys. You were 100% right about everything you said. I wish I could have taken the money that I paid to the shop and just given it to you. Um, I promise I'm going to learn how to do this stuff myself. Um, so, but thanks again. If there's some way I can ever find you and repay you, um, that would be great. <laughs> it would make my day. But, um, you know what? I, it turned out to be kind of like an awesome thing because I found out that the people at my work are awesome. So, um, the company, you know what? They don't, they don't pay as much as some other companies do. But um, being nice people and helpful and kind of like a big family, it, that goes a long way. It goes a, such a long way. So um, thank you to the people at my work. Um, and so, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I do for my job. Okay, what I do for my job is I am a visiting nurse. And so I go into people's homes. Um, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a nurse for over 26 years, and most of that time has been in home care. Um, I got my start in oncology. Um, I worked on an oncology and head and neck surger, surgical unit. Um, it was basically an oncology unit, but um, the head and neck surgeons also like to send their patients to the floor that I worked on. Um, because we took good care of everybody. Uh, the plastic surgeons like to send um, there are people to us too, but a, a lot of the plastic surgery people um, were having plastic surgery because they had cancer. So that's where I got my start. Um, and I did that in the hospital, one hospital and then another for about the first five years. And then I went to home care. And I got to tell you, I have just loved home care ever since. And it turns out it is the perfect job to have for a van lifer. And um, so after my sister died, I just decided I need to live. I need to have a little bit of fun. I need to do something different. I need to go on an adventure. I need a challenge. So, um, well, I had bought the van, but I hadn't planned on really moving into it as soon as I did. So I kind of did it quick. I, I did the, the van build, and mine was not a van build. It was a van put stuff together um, and see if we can make this work. Um, I kind of expedited that whole thing and just decided, you know what, life is too short. I'm going to do this. And I did it, and I'm I'm really glad that I did it. Um, because it's been pretty awesome, except for, you know, a couple couple little things. Um, and so, the only complication that I have right now with seeing patients is the fact that I've got my dog, Betty. And it's starting to, to really heat up. It's starting to get warm. Um, so basically what I do is, well, I don't have to work a lot to be able to fund my adventures or just fund my chilling out van life, <laughs> you know, adventures. Um, so I'm going to kind of scale down what I can potentially do. Um, um, I take my last patient at 11 a.m. and um, that's usually sufficient to keep it so that when Betty is in the van, it's not too terribly hot but it is starting to get a little bit warmer earlier. So I need to figure something out. So that's kind of hard. Um, basically, none of the doggy daycares will take her because she seems so dog aggressive. Um, so the only other option is putting is boarding her during the day, and that's like twice, that costs twice as much. So um, I'm still trying to figure out other ways to keep it cool in the van um, because she's fine in the van. She kind of gets a little anxious when I'm first leaving, but she quiets down and she's fine. Um, you know, I could work more if I could find a way to keep the van cooler longer. So, but until then, I'm just going to have to stop working when it gets too hot. Um, and so far, that's been working out. And um, so, you know, my, my uh, work now understands, at least uh, one or two people there, um, you know, what I do and why I do it. And, um, you know... I was kind of like boohooing and saying that I was felt a little tinge of shame when I told this one person, but it actually turned out really great. You know, I feel better. Now I tell everybody. I tell anybody who, you know, whatever. I live and work out of my van, you know. Um, oh, I did spend one night in a hotel. Um, it was just 
actually it was recently um, and I did it because I was just so stressed I just wanted to I didn't want to worry about a place to park I just wanted to pull up get into a room and crash and well use their Wi-Fi and that's what I did and you know what the whole time I was in there I was thinking about my van I was thinking about how much more comfortable the bed in my van is how much safer I feel in my van and um, so you know what I may still do that every once in a while get a hotel room um, charge everything up chill out use their Wi-Fi um, get a shower um, but to tell you the honest to God truth I didn't like it as much as actually sleeping in my van so that's a good thing to know I mean I think it was a good choice to kind of do that so that I could just kind of get that experience you know and know that I like it better in my van so oh and I did find a way I think I told you guys this already I found a way to basically do a full bath slash shower sort of a thing in my van wash my hair and everything and it only takes two two gallons of water so that's pretty cool so um you know what that's really a lot of the narrative that I've got to tell you today but I did want to kind of like uh, give you a spin around the van so you can see what it looks like it's kind of messy right now well but you know what it's messy all the freaking time um, but you know what that that should change I think that should change once I get the actual van build done and um, yeah yeah so let me let me give you a little peek see at just what it looks like right now there's my sweet baby um, this is the bed and uh, this whole oh those are that's where I store my solar panels when they're inside and if you can see they are pointing out towards the back they still charge a little bit when um, they're facing out this window and only like a quarter of them are excuse me looking out my window okay so that's where I keep my hats I just use those little cheapy hooks and yeah that's sort a of little LED light that goes right into my uh, my charge controller and then I can just flip that on it's very bright light alrighty yeah I put those up there and um, you know what I don't really like those because you can see that I had to modify the top of it a little bit to get them to fit underneath these ribs um, those are actually a little bit too big. What I'd really like to find is some wicker baskets to put up there. Um, they'd be a little bit sturdier, and I think they'd look better, too. And I think I had told you guys already that I had got this from Goodwill. And um, I just put this on the front of it, and on the inside is where I keep all my clothes. Yay! And in here is, it's hard to see, the big tub that I use to take like a full wonderful bath and wash my hair in and I store a bunch of stuff in it um, so one of these days I'll tell you how I do the whole bath thing um, and over here I haven't I still haven't done anything with this this is the chair that I use I like it it's not a lounge chair or you know an outdoor chair but it's lightweight and I like it very much and I got a little table that I just set up like right here um, I use this lantern so much and it just takes batteries um, and that's really the only picture that I've left hanging oh except for my be nice or get out one um, so yeah this is where I kind of sit and chill out and behind here is just that reflectix and there's reflectix over there um, behind there as well and um, well, I wonder if I can get up and walk with this I probably can't uh, this is my kitchen area. Actually, this is needs to come back a little bit, but I need two hands to do it. Um, I just put this brown stuff on it, no, non-slip stuff, and it uh, keeps it from sliding around. Um, and it goes all the way over here. And I did used to put my 12 volt refrigerator there but I returned it didn't like it um, the little thingy that you put into the 12 volt socket wouldn't stay in the socket it wouldn't stay in the one I've got for solar and it wouldn't stay in the one in my vehicle so I took it out and uh, I had just got this and uh, this is sufficient for now I unfortunately got rid of the other bigger round one that I had that had a spigot at the bottom um, I'm gonna have to go rebuy that because I actually donated it to Goodwill 
um, here's my little power bank thingy. And so this wood is just on top of these two things, um, chests, and these are pretty cheap. So eventually I'm going to get some better ones um, because these, these drawers are just, yeah, it works good for now. Um, that's my water tank underneath of the blue, uh, the brown towel thingy. Um, and that is my two burner stove that I got. And I just shove it in there. And um, yeah, I shove a few other things in there too. There's some potatoes, there's some green peppers in there somewhere. Um, and you guys have seen this probably a zillion times already. Yep, that's my pantry. I love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, and these are my barn doors. I just put a rod and secured it with these magnetic hooky thingies. And um, it's hard to see. I need to move back. Yeah, so, um, and I just store stuff in the wheel wells. Um, that's my gray water tank. That's the tank that I use when I dump, after I take a full bath and wash my hair and stuff. I dump the water in that. If I don't have somewhere to dump it at, you know, right after I take it, I just pour it all into there, and then I wait till I get to an appropriate place and put it in there. So, you guys, this, this is my home, and I really, really love it. I just... That bed. Oh, I just, uh, that cup is empty. Thank God. Otherwise, I would have been pissed. That bed is so comfortable, you guys. You just have no idea. And, um, so this is my house. This is my home. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I still need to get some better blackout things because, oh, yeah, this is a different incarnation of it. I didn't have any black, uh, tape, so I used white, but that come that goes to the inside, and there's felt on the other side. So, um, yeah, that works fine. And this is it. Oh, look who stole my seed again. Betty, you stole my seed. I love you still, though. I love you very much. Oh, and I don't know if you can see that little fan. Um, it is running off of one of, here, let me show you. One of these. One of these things. And they last forever. I mean, it'll keep a fan going all night long. And so I just charge them up while I'm driving. It works fine. Or I charge them up when with the solar. Um, and yeah, I just hang that up there. And I sometimes hang two. I'll put one over there, one over there. And that is enough to keep us cool while we're back there. And also, let me just show you how I watch my TV and film myself sometimes. This little thing right here. Yeah, it's a suction cup. And I just move it around and uh, puts my phone right up in front of my face so I don't even have to wear my glasses. And that's how I get my entertainment. So, say hello, Betty. <laughs> Here, look at her. She's got her hands on my pillow. She's like, I am not moving. <laughs> Good Lord, what a baby doll. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.